Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian, and today we have another video for you. If you saw last week's video where we talked about the Peerless High Rye Bourbon, you heard me talk about another bottle that I'm really enjoying drinking alongside that Peerless right now. That happens to be the latest batch from Hey Luke. This is blended straight bourbon whiskeys that comes from Jonathan Masano out of Mississippi for Masano's fine wine and spirits. You may have heard uh, someone known for doing really great picks and has started this brand and I think mainly kind of blew on the scene a little bit when Fred Minnick uh, reviewed this batch one last year and it ended up placing in the top 25 of the best whiskeys of 2022 on his list. This is now batch four that is recently released and this is 117.7 proof. Now there are also 100 proof small batches that come out as well. And I've heard great things about that. Jason from Ash and Drum seemed to have a lot of positive things to say about batch two, batch three, and then the 100 proofs as well. So we are going to go ahead and dive in here to batch four. While you're here, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Help me continue to grow the channel here in 2023. Trying to take a look at this color here. Nice honey golden color as well. You can kind of start to see the legs moving or barely moving here. And I will say right away on the nose, this is something I could nose for a very, very long time. Incredibly intriguing nose, very, very inviting, rich, creamy right away, sweet with vanilla, but softly aged with a warm leather note, balanced and perfumed, but it does kind of have a, a floral characteristic that goes throughout. The nose moves, uh, it, it transitions pretty quickly from when you first pour it in the first few minutes that you leave it open in the glass. Red fruits begin to emerge, toasted orange zest, caramel and a modest oak that truthfully reminds me of another Lawrenceburg distillery that has high rye in that regard. Man, it just continues to grow more buttery and more sweet the more you nose it. Let's go ahead and dive in here on the palate. The palate's explosive immediately. Initially, a, a huge wave of these spiced charred oak notes, but then it continues with a really big brown sugar-like sweetness, kind of oaky, hay, corn, big sweet pile right in the middle. As it lingers on the palate and specifically sides of the tongue, you get milk chocolate, you get grape soda, and creamy vanilla sweetened red fruits that continue to, to finish this. Is. Man, the linger is deep. It's so long lasting. It gives nods to, to toasted oak or toasted finished whiskeys because it just lingers with that same kind of toasted developed oak on the palate, rich hardwood, these nice kind of chocolate notes in there. This sucker has crazy mouthfeel. I mean, it's, it's velvety coating and it almost sticks to the sides of the mouth like molasses, that, but it's not as dark in the sweetness as molasses would be, but, but it has that heaviness, that, that linger, that slow movement in the mouth. This is a serious whiskey here. If you want uh, some, some spice, a little bit of bite there, if you're not afraid of these kind of big corn caramel sweetnesses there that also give these really Im impressive charred oak, charred wood notes to accompany maybe even slightly mesquite-like in the finish because of the way the spice kind of pops around, then this batch four of Kalook is definitely one to impress. I feel like it's got a, a fullness that I found similar to like the barrel batch 33, the barrel batch 34. So if you were a fan of that, you liked the mouthfeel of that, how big and creamy it was, I think you'll find a lot of things that you enjoy about this glass. To me, it's kind of like a poor man's Joseph Magnus cigar blend. And while not as funky, it does still have a little bit of that floral essence, a little je ne sais quoi, if you will. Match that with the toasted oak notes. It brings a really enjoyable experience. Maybe not as developed, maybe not as old tasting as the, the uh, cigar blends, but I don't think people who... I don't think you'll be disappointed if that's the flavor camp that you like. Man, really good really good here that k luke batch for 117.7 i didn't say this at the very beginning but uh, it's a blend of low and high rye recipes from indiana 
in Kentucky. Man, kudos, Jonathan and the rest of the Hey Luke team. Really excited. I look forward to trying more products. Hopefully, I'm able to do that here in the future. But in the meantime, let me know if you've tried K Luke, any of the batches, higher proof or at the 100 proof. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you have to think down below. Thanks so much, everybody, for tuning into another video. Hope this was informational. Hope it was insightful. Hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know if there's anything else you want to hear on future videos. Love to make sure I'm continuing to bring out content that you're interested in hearing about. Until next time, we'll see you all later.